Okay, I have a review this time for Insta, bro. It's a program for viewing and downloading Instagram photos. Now, I'll start off by telling you, you can't take photos with it from, say, your webcam on your laptop or whatever and add it to your Instagram account. That has nothing to do with this program. It's, I think, a rule that Instagram's got. Th uh, no third-party programs can actually take pictures and upload it to Instagram accounts. So the only programs that will take pictures for Instagram is the official Instagram app on iPhone and Android and Windows Phone. You can't actually do it with any of the third-party programs such as this one on Windows or Mac, which is a pity because there is no official Instagram app for PCs or Macs, only mobile phones and tablets. So there's currently no way to take pictures for Instagram on the PCs or Macs. But what this does allow you to do is view not just your own account, but other people's accounts, as long as they're not set to private. And you can download your photos or other photos. And it's very straightforward and there's multiple views. We have thumbnail view and we have list view. Now, I haven't actually got very many photos on my Instagram, but I have a few here to demonstrate. Now, you can have multiple accounts. So you can, if you have multiple Instagram accounts for whatever reason, you can add them here. Or you don't actually have to use your own. You can uh, add friends or whatever here if you want to keep up with, uh, up to date with your, what your friends are adding. You can have their, your friends listed here and go to them each day, you know, instead of going to the web browser or whatever. Uh, if an account is set to private, you can't, of course, view them and download from them unless it is your own uh, private Instagram account, in which case you can go to accounts, sign in, sign into your account, and you can then view and download from your own private account if you're signed in, as long as you, of course, know your login information. It's from here, under accounts, we've add account or remove account. This is where you can add more, more accounts here. And standard view. A window then view is where you can refresh a page you're on such as this account do a quick look or enter full screen there's full screen and you can do it from the green button like in most programs now if you double click on one of these pictures it will open that actual instagram page in your default web browser but if you don't want to do that you can single click on one and press the space bar on your keyboard and you'll get a quick look a uh, quick look window up like you would in your Finder when you view documents in your Finder on your Mac. Uh, then with one selected, or we can select multiple, but if we say, say you want these two here, we can then click download and it will just download those two to your computer. Or if we have one selected, we can hit just download and it will just get that one. Or we don't even have to have any selected. If we want all of our photos downloaded as a backup from your account, say, you can just hit download all and it will get all the images from this account and download it straight to your Mac. Where it will be downloaded to would depend upon down here. We can choose a download location using this. We can select choose and we can choose, say, our pictures folder or our downloads folder, whatever. This slider here allows us to make the thumbnails bigger or smaller to view more on the screen. Then this here is just the profile picture of the account you have selected. If you had somebody else's account selected here, it would be their profile picture. Uh, under the main menu here, we have an about, and it's the current version at the time of making this review, which is 1.0.7. And there's a link to the website there as well. From here, we can also check for the update, uh, check for any updates, make sure we're up to date. In this case, we are. We can give feedback. So say there's a feature that's lacking. We want that feature. We can give feedback. Or if we found a bug, we can report a bug from there. Here would be activate. So you can put in your license code if you haven't bought the program. It costs $6 in the US or about £4.50 in the UK. And we can deactivate it here if we need to for some reason. And that is pretty much about it. It's a very straightforward, simple program. Now let's just take a quick look at the website a minute and then we can see what the features are, see if I've forgotten to mention anything, etc. Well, the first thing I'd like to start off on this website by noting is that there is a free trial. So you can try before you buy. And I always recommend you do that if there's a trial or demo available of a program. Even though by watching this review of mine, you might say, yes, that looks good. I want that. 
I still would recommend you always download the trial so you can try it out for yourself and also make sure it works fine in your system. So that's where you can download it. It's version 1.07 at the time of making this review and it requires OS 10, 10.11 or newer. So it does require the latest El Capitan operating system. Multiple accounts, as I've mentioned, see in this uh, screenshot shows multiple accounts set up. And private accounts, if you have a login for a private account or your account is private, or whatever, you can log in and still access it. Quick look is exactly what I just showed you where you select one and hit your space bar and you get a quick look box come up to preview that image a bit bigger. And you can download, save all account media at once and a table view. So if you don't like the thumbnail view, you can view it as a table. And that's pretty much that's all there is to it. You would then go on this website and either get a get download the trial or hit buy now. As you can see, you have multiple choices. You can get it for one, P, uh, one Mac at a time. So you can only install it on one Mac. If you have multiple Macs, like you say, you have a iMac at home as a desktop and you have a uh, laptop, you can only install it on one at a time for that license, which is £4.50 or $6. Though, though if you are in that situation and you know you want it on your desktop Mac, such as your iMac or whatever, or your Mac Pro, and you also want it on your MacBook, then there is an option of three Macs uh, simultaneously, and that is £8.20 or in the US, and we can select our country from a drop down on their website. It is $11. And love it includes a license for up to 10 Macs. So if there's some reason you need it on 10 Macs, maybe you have a, I don't know, maybe you have a uh, desktop Mac, like an iMac, you have a Mac uh, book, and maybe you want to get a license or two for a family member or a spouse or whatever, then there is option for up to 10 Macs for $20. And there's even another option here for up to 50. I'm not sure why you'd want that unless maybe you're a school or college, university or something like that and you're setting up for lots of users. Although I don't know why you do that with a, for an Instagram program, but still the options there if you need up to 50 Macs. Most likely you're going to want one of these first three options. Probably, mostly, you're going to want to go for either one or three max. There. It's $25 for 10 max, $100 for 50 max. And that is in pounds 450, 820, 1865 or 7460 for 50 max. And that is really about all there is to it. It's very simple. You sign into various accounts or add accounts here. We can go add, and just enter a username. That is if you don't need to sign in, if it's a private account. If you say just add in a friend's account here, you can type in their username, hit add, and it will show up in the list here. And we can then, we can then hit space on them to preview them bigger, just like you can in your finder. It, it's very straightforward, simple to use. It's not an expensive program either. The only feature I would like to see, and they can't really do it as far as I'm aware, as far as I know, it's a Instagram rule, which is to be able to take photos because you might want to use your webcam to take a picture or whatever for your Instagram account instead of using your mobile phone. So that would be a nice feature. But as far as I know, that is not the fault of the makers of this program. As far as I know, nobody can do that. It has to be Instagram, Instagram's official app, and they only do that on Windows Phone, iOS, such as iPhone and iPad and Android phones. If you're on a PC, a PC desktop, PC laptop, a MacBook or an iMac, a MacBook, a Mac Pro, whatever, any kind of desktop or laptop computer, you're just not going to be able to do that. There's no official app for that, and third parties are not allowed to integrate that feature into their software, which is a pity. I really don't know why they can't allow that. Other services do. But anyway, there you go. A link will be in the description. I hope seeing this in action and seeing what the features are and how it works, what it looks like has been useful to you. A trial is available from their website. And as I've just mentioned, a link will be in the description along with this video. Please like and comment on this video. And if you could do me a huge favor and subscribe to my YouTube channel, as it just takes a few seconds and will help me out a lot. Thanks.